this is uh, let's see it's a pretty cold day today it's uh, it was uh, 45 below at uh, on the thermometer at my house I live up on a little bit of a hill and, uh, and now I'm heading uh, the main part of town is about three miles uh, away from my house and it's uh, a lot lower in elevation not a lot but anyway uh, it's right up ahead you see all the ice fog um, from all the wood stoves and stuff and uh, you just see the first of the house houses maybe and um, so you can let's see there was just a plane that uh, took off from the airport, they'll fly in here. And they got like a cutoff at 40 below, but that's 40 below in Fairbanks when they take off. If it's as long as they get on the ground and don't leave the engines off for long, uh, they'll come in here at even uh, colder than 40. Um, you can see clouds to the south here. That's uh, facing south, and. Uh, that's warmed it up a couple of degrees, and if that continues, those continue moving in, we might get like, uh, you know, warm up to 30 below or something, or warmer. Uh, those clouds and that weather that comes with them um, is the only thing that warms it up this time of year. If it's clear, it's, it's going to go right down to 40, 30, 40, 50 below. Um, so, so like I say, I, uh, as far as I'm concerned, once winter starts, I, I wouldn't care if I never saw the sun. In other words, you know, the clouds were here and it kept it reasonably warm. And it makes it a lot easier keeping the house warm with the wood stove and, um, you know, get out uh, trapping. Right now, pretty much nobody's really uh, traveling too much out of town there. If somebody's really got a place to go, you can make a trip to Manly Hot Springs. That's about 60 miles away by snowboard or something. But, uh, you know, as far as, like, getting out and doing a lot of work, you know. Although, uh, during this time, time of uh, year, with this kind of cold, uh, people are going to start running out of wood. And, uh, and they will uh, go out and get some wood. As a matter of fact... Uh, that was what I had planned today. I'm not running out of wood, but I'd like to get some birch. It burns a lot hotter than spruce, and uh, so I'd like to go get some of that. I live down by that uh, base of that hill there. Um, like I say, it's always about 10 degrees warmer than uh, the lower areas of Tan. Now, the airport in Tan, which is the official temperature, that is usually just a little bit colder than uh, uh, up at my house. Uh, it's, it's kind of a little bit high ground, not as high as where I am, but it's uh, higher than most of the houses in Canada, so um, who knows what it is, 48 below official today or something like that. I'm sure right down here there's like a, a creek uh, right up here by these houses and um, that's one of the colder places in town. That could be a good bit over 50 below, even 55 below uh, last night. So I'm heading downtown. I'm going to try to stop this uh, thing called the Teen Center. It's a big lo old log building and got a wood stove in there and an oil stove. And, uh, and I'm going to try to fire that thing up and get it warm because uh, it's kind of like Christmas, New Year's time of year. I, I run the place. I just volunteer to, to uh, just fix up an old cabin and put a bunch of computers in it and TVs for the kids and a uh, pool table in there. Um, so we're going to try to get that thing warm for the, the night, which is going to be interesting. But uh, yeah, I've done it in 30 below before. Usually I don't do it at party, but uh, it is Christmas and I'm kind of old. I'm a, This year, this weekend, so you know, I'm trying to fire that thing up. Okay. 
I'm going to head on in for 10 a.m. Maybe I'll leave this thing going and see if we get some uh, footage of the first 10. Uh, And that teen center. Yeah. Boy, that camera don't seem to be focusing in the cold. Uh, yeah, I think it's freezing up. Boy, that didn't take long. Okay. So there's the... Uh, there's the river down that way. There's some open holes in the... There's some open holes in the ice down there. And... Uh, that's what all most of that ice fog is uh, down that way. You can't even see the islands down river now. Yeah, uh, Front Street 10. Uh, yeah, you can't even see the vehicles up there on the road. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's somebody heading with some probably some laundry and stuff. Uh, yeah, those guys, Tommy and Bernadette. They have vehicles, but uh, uh, nobody's uh, getting their trucks running. Well, there are people. There's a lot of people have trucks running, but they don't. There's, there's somebody that said it's easier to just go pull their laundry and stuff to the laundromat, and, which is probably about a half mile away. And uh, yeah, yeah, and here's a vehicle coming down the road. It'll be. Yeah, plug in and we'll start it. Body 50 below. Okay, let's shut her off here.